There's some, just some, I, I yeah. think like the first big storyline for me is just these these young guns that have taken their teams deep in this tournament. You know, we saw the profile of Miracle. He has been here before, but you've got GH, uh, and of course I think for Yaps are like his first Two of the most talented boys. shot at TI, uh, yeah. where he could potentially make a deep run with his team, and they have both had amazing tournaments up until this point. Yapsor was saying at his winning uh, interview yesterday, you know, both him and, and Miracle from, from Jordan, after this game, perhaps after this series, one of them are going home, so representing the home country, country a little bit. Good news for the Jordanian fans is one of them will be moving on, <laughs> so they have someone to root for if they're very... Yeah, he was saying, you know, he knows a lot of people uh, from home will be watching this match, so it's... A lot of people around the world are... I mean, that's just one storyline. You've, of course, got Puppy versus Kuro. Puppy draws first blood and, and gets that yeah. initial jab off, but we'll see if Kuro can respond here. Beyond that, I guess, Lumi, we're going to look at the lanes now. So it was a fifth pick PL. There isn't a whole lot of illusion clear. That's something the panel mentioned briefly. Uh, how uh, you talked about it not really be a good out game is it a good pl game for sure uh you have no illusion clear you could jump in and without there, there's so few stuns there's one stun to be exact on the side of team liquid that you know you could be very bold with the way that you play with your uh double ganger and, and things like that so it's a great pl game so look at the way the lanes are being set up now secret are gonna run the safe lane bat rider for kezu they go aggressive Duel, maybe try lane, depending on where Yapsor opts to spend his time. You know, Yapsor already creeping around near mid. He's got the boots. He has skilled up the crush. Does not seem like he's really going for a courier snipe here. More interested in the early harass. Like, the game plan from Secret seems to be don't let Miracle have a good time. And so far, well, it's certainly working in that regard. Already two thirds of his health gone. Yeah. Surprised there wasn't a Phantom Lance. I guess Midrun felt that he was going to be able to right quick for more damage. To skill the rush up early here, and they are going to rotate GH now. As yeah, of course they do have a little bit of assist here. Kuro needs to TP bottom as well. This lane is not going to be possible for a Lycan on zone. And something that Panel touched on, on is that they haven't seen a Lycan do well on the lane stage. Don't go well for them. Certainly tough to balance your resources and make sure both of them have a good start. And of course, the other the other nice thing, I guess, for Liquid, what might help salvage these lands is that the Venno is a very difficult hero uh, to pressure, even for a Batrider. Yep. Do you see this Venno playing rather aggressively early on? No points in the Plague Warp, but gotta imagine it is coming soon. Is Matumba Man in danger in the bottom lane? Almost taking down to the Maldic. Forcing up the Kuro TP, and he will pop on that last tick. Liquid, or level one Maledig is not something that does a ton, but they did a lot of damage onto him before that point, so. Oh, that is costly. And I think even worse, Lumi, like, we also see the TP coming in, so. Thanks, Switch. He does, I guess, get the experience out of this Kuroki, but now opens up some opportunities elsewhere as they try to pressure Kezu in the top lane, the Batrider. Being harassed a bit, even for now at least, committing the howl. And as you mentioned, it will be a full on lane switch here. Mind Control is going to evacuate top. But here's the thing you're switching a Lycan into a Batrider lane. Like, is that any better? That might even be worse, arguably. Yeah, I mean, Batrider has a level advantage. Matumba Man doesn't even have boots, so if Kezu stacks like, let's say, four or five stacks onto Matumba Man, you could just run him down. Oh. They're actually going to dual lane up top here. They fire off the Gale, but the tower is smartly choosing to attack Mind Control, so they can't even dive him there either. Genius. Kezu, thanks you for your service. They Lance. start to descend on mid, they're looking for the Miracle Kill. Good Void comes out, keeping Yapsor out of range of Crush, but now the Lance follow-up. That should secure it with MP joining the party. Multiple core lanes, apparently the order of the day, as they are still dual laning top with Mind Control. Almost transitioning to that support role. Kuro is just being given the bottom lane solo. He says, I'm going to carry this one. Oh, the two captain wants now, a true 1v1. Boys. Let's go. Five position supports, last hitting. <laughs> Get in there, boys. The Kuro puppy fight. A thing of dreams. Only at TI-7. Yeah. Only at TI-7. I mean, to be serious for a second, though, like, this is not the way that Team Lego wants to have their lanes. They have a one and third position player laning together at the top lane. I Mind Control is playing the zoner here. I don't think... Oh, they're going to go on Kezu again. The pressure continues. He does have the Firefly, though. Does, do they actually want to dive for no. this? They try to take him down, force out that TP, and Puppy is here looking for the response. Lays him with the Maldic, but Kezu probably too low to chase this out. But Lots of man. the Flame Break. Mind Control did stick up. Probably should be fine, but that Maledic packs a punch. Maybe oh. not. One more hit. Woo! Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Panic TP didn't actually even get into the fountain there initially, but fortunately for him, he will survive. 
it's so uncommon to see two cores laning together that we just assumed it was a lane swap. Like, you really never see this in Dota nowadays. Yeah, I, I, this shows that Team Liquid has really lost in terms of what they could be doing in lanes. Uh, and I think Team Secret is just one step ahead. Like, look at this move by Yapsor. Like, he knows that, hey, stack's coming, he's gonna block it. I, I feel like Team Secret is just one step ahead everywhere. They are getting pretty heavily outfarmed as well with the cast night already at 20 CS. Yapsor is being pursued though as that first nighttime clicks in and perhaps... Oh no, Yapsor denying him the arcane root as he does get the crush off. Still the pursuit, GH very committed and he will get the kill. Salvaging the game, keeping Liquid in it for now. Try to batten down the hatches a bit here. The good news, Lumi, Miracle is farming well. All this crazy... All the crazy lane shenanigans we saw earlier, it has allowed him to just sit mid and hit creeps. And now he's getting a little assistance from GH as the Hal comes out, continues to pursue and mid one looks to answer back a lot of damage with that first Spirit Lance. TPs are coming in, Puppy's gonna rotate. That Even that is just opening up the other lanes. So this first nighttime, getting Liquid back in the game. Before get, uh, things get a little bit too crazy, I do want to mention that Liquid once again does have the combination of Nice Stalker and Lycan. You can't just turn into night anytime you want with the darkness. And then, of course, it makes the how doubly effective during night. So, a little bit of small something, but something that they have to count on. Ooh. Mind control. Oh, does fog them, at least for now. But Yapsor on the case. Gets up the crush. Kuro coming in, looking for the save. The Maledict's there. And it is already level 2. GH arriving as well. But he's running into 3. Not sure this is a fight he wants to take. In fact, Yapsor was looking for the second kill. Crush was still pulling down. Gets away to safety. Mid one continues to bully Miracle, who does not have his level six yet. Has to be careful he doesn't overplay his hand. Bit behind in the experience department as Yapsor lurks, waiting for GH to come through. But actually, Liquid have brought three. He needs to get out of here. Gale comes in, and with that, Liquid score another kill. Climbing back into this game. This nighttime has really salvaged things. It has. There's still two minutes left of it, so let's see if uh, GH could do a little bit more. Overall, for Secret, is this expected that you're going to struggle this first night time? Are you at all worried if they're them? Are there any adjustments they need to make in your eyes? I feel like they played the first four minutes very well. Um, I think they de got, definitely got way more kills than they should have gotten with the heroes that they have. Hold that thought here as Puppy will have to turn on the heal as he runs away from oh, GH, but perhaps a bait though. flies over. Flapping away, but the Maledict is going to take him down. And Puppy has been a force on this Witch Doctor, and he was a force in game one. Yeah, what a skill build coming out of the Witch Doctor as well. Two points in Maldic, one point in Voodoo, and one point in Cast. This is definitely not the standard build, but hey, he's finding it a uh, you know, correct use for every single situation. I mean, it is, but at the same time, like, the standard Lycan build is not to get the Wolves early. So, you know, even if he needs the Cast later, he'll have time to go back for that. Yeah. And Witch Doctor's heal and Cast are both pretty decent value points as far as they go. like Just getting that stun in and of itself is a huge upgrade for the hero. Sure. The heal level one is quite strong. Oh my god, this is a huge play by the Batrider. He's stealing the stack away from the Alchemist. Bone 7 is smiling. This is this is a move I this think is what he does, dates yeah. back to him. Yep. Oh, there you go. There goes that Alchemist stack. That's like 200 Diving gold. Mid. They want Miracle. His Chemical Rage on his cooldown. But in comes GH. Looking for the assist. Now Puppy's the one who's run over. GH, again. Making I get more here. Once more, GH trying to play the hero, and GH doesn't quite get mid one. Trying to uh, take yeah, it down. one more hit. GH is a goddamn hero. He scores the kill. He'll pay with his life, but will oh, earn okay. the PL. My control though might have overextended. Indeed, he will. So the Venomancer drives by. He's gonna die in the lane. I mean, you can't ask for more from GH. This guy single-handedly dragging Liquid on his back, back into the game. Yeah. And he has to do so because their lanes are just so bad the way that they were constructed. And they are in the game. Uh, Miracle does have the boots finish upgrade, excuse me, going for the standard armlet. He's now going to go into the jungle and get the bad news that, hey, my camp's taken. Again, Team Secret, even though they give away a couple kills in the nighttime, I still feel like that, that was okay. Especially the fact that Batrider took that stack away is uh, what gives me the, the win for, for Team Secret. Technically Liquid, their first lead of the game. At least their first substantial tick towards one. Because they have completely erased that early secret progress. But now we enter the next phase. It is, again, daytime. Secret can use this time to farm up. We're going to see MP building towards a fast armlet here on the Chaos Knight. 
as the mid one continues to pressure the mid lane. Has the arcane rune, so those very low cooldown spears keep on getting pumped out. It's going to force GH to TP away. Not a scary creature at this time. The secret look to ramp up the push. Not the best pushing lineup, Lumi. That's something Secret really do struggle with, outside of perhaps the Phantasm. But they have to get a, an overwhelming advantage to take these structures down. Not a good pushing paper on lineup, but then what if like they just put illusions in front of your building? What is Team Liquid's answer? They don't really have one, so... It's slow progress, but... It yeah, it, it will eventually take down the building. And they do chip it down, only to half HP, but nonetheless, progress for them. As elsewhere, Liquid are using this time to farm up. Mind Control trying to get back in the game, only up 2k net worth. Vitamancer, with all the rotations he had to make, is just maxing out the Plague Wards. We're not going to see the extra points in Gal and Sting we saw from the mid Venom previously. And I go for mid one on the mid lane, but again, there's so very little control for him. He just jumps away. Now a smoke secret making their play. They want Matumba Man. Does have the shape shift. They're gonna have to change some of The lasso's available. They want the wolf, and they'll get him, at least initially pulling him up onto the high ground where Puppy is lurking with the Maledic. The crush comes through. Crow to the rescue though. I don't think Matumba Man dies just yet, and now he chases forward. Wants a piece of Puppy, looking for vengeance. The Witch Doctor's overextended, but Yapsor trying to at least get the time out there. Not gonna happen now. Yapsor on the run as well. They hound him. They pursue in force a little bit too far. They are going to back away now and on the chase is MP. Back the other direction we go. Ping ponging onto mind control. He's got oh, the short duration stun and now gets up the poison over the crush. Connects on only one. The snake man's down. Secret. Going to back away for now. But this is all buying time. Yeah, this is a miracle. It is farming. Very good fight for Team Liquid. You know, like, like you mentioned, Miracle hasn't even needed to join any single fights. Um, I think Team Secret definitely overestimated what they could have done taking a fight at the enemy shrine. Great TP coming in him from uh, Kurogi tapping that shrine. And once that shrine is activated, that, that Maledict really doesn't do much of anything, so... Good one for one trade for Team Liquid. And checking on, on Miracle's farm, he's up to 1500 with Armlet and Treads upgraded. Hey, they might be actually able to do it. And looking at the tower now, Glyph gets forced out. No darkness available, it is still daytime. Imagine Liquid might want to wait to fully contest this with the Catapult. Hell, they might try it now. Chemical Rage active. DD Rune can be popped. Last hit to Miracle. Give him almost 2,000 gold halfway to the Relic. Can he make it out though? But can he get away? But you certainly see that case. Okay. Of okay. okay. Who's the big boy now? Miracle just absolutely shreds him and the chase goes forward looking for more. Well, I don't know if Miracle's gonna pop off this game, but that's a good start, you know? Tower yeah, lasted. Doing it during daytime as well. Secret yeah. just not respecting him. Top lane looks like they're trying to make a die for the Tumba Man, but no blink just yet here on the Batrider. Kazu did opt to go for the drums first. Flying out now. And mid one also rushing the Diffusal Blade, so not even going to upgrade the boots here. Go for any stat items outside the Akila. Just, we'll let's get that, that Diffusal out as quickly as possible. Moving on from this point in the game, I think Curl's positioning in fights is going to determine whether Team Liquid has a chance or not this game. He is public enemy number one. He's the one that's providing the, the spells as well as save for the rest of the team. And there's so many heroes that could easily get behind him. You know, of course, mid one with his Diffusal Blade, Chaos Knight will reality rift, as well as the Slaughter kind of just coming in the back line, so... Speaking of that Slaughter, GH again on the prowl here. Has the phase boots picked up? Always a threat to flap over the trees. So when is Secret's next move? Is the Diffusal Blade the armlet at that point? Do you just go? Do you start taking those fights? Or? I think you're waiting for the blinks from Slaughter or the Batrider. Okay. You really need a hard initiation to find the right target, whether that is Kuroki or somebody else, and go for the quick kill. I think if you're relying on Diffusal Blade or Drums, that's not fast enough to get the right initiation off, and Liquid can come in, uh, you know, whether via tower TPs or just good positioning of their own to kind of take a good fight. You don't want to fight into an Alchemist lineup when you don't have enough, because if you just die to an Alchemist lineup, you just give him more give him more time to farm, and that's a recipe for disaster. So Puppy does continue to just keep on maxing out this Maledic. Now level 3, still only the one point in the cast, and could become very relevant here as Matumba Man is building towards the Necro book. This has increasingly been the more popular build. We've seen a lot of players shying away more and more of this tournament from the Armlet Mask of Madness. GH 
DH prowls the dire jungle. Seek for that next opening. The fusel blade is nigh. MP's armlet, only a few creeps away, so there's two big early combat items for Secret about to come out. But Liquid, the one's on offense. Okay, grouping up behind Miracle, they look for the steel on top. With the tower falling, Radiance will be nearly complete. And Puffy, in a bit of danger, lobs out the Maledict, but then gets silenced up and GH pursues onto the high ground. Really wants to force it, perhaps he's been baited in a bit too far. Cast coming out, Maledict ticking in, and will pay with his life. Space created. But space for the tower. I mean, you, you just dove into a tier 3 for a 1 for 1 trade, and you got two teleport scroll from a 4 position. And you got the tower, you got the radiance. Give them that chat wheel, man. Space created. Well done. And he needs to do that. Space. Yeah, he's not that kind of player. <laughs> he lets us play do the talking. Well, Miracle has the Radiance online, 14 minutes and 30 seconds, with Treads upgraded as well as Armlet. Not the best time ever, but very, very serviceable given the how the laning stage went, right? Remember, you gotta keep in mind that Matumba Man got first blood at bottom, or he got killed bottom. They had to lane with a Veno for a while, but that was just not a good start. They're still in the game. Definitely not a part of the plan, but it's working out all the same for Liquid. However, the change up could be upon us momentarily as they look for GH here. Amp damage coming through. Kezu no blink though. Amp wrangle the vampire. Kezu's not going for blink. He's going for a Yule Scepter. What do you make of that? The uh, Night Stalkers? No, no, no. The, the, I mean, but you're a Bat Rider. Your job is to initiate. I guess he feels that, look, there is an Oracle on the other side. He gives respect to Kuro that he feels that he won't be able to get off very reliable initiation. That he just want to itemize in a different manner, but then you have a bat rider not at 100 percent. The slaughter so. is about to get it, so Yap are very close to his blink. And to be fair, like the, their lineup's good at chasing, right? With the PL, yeah, the fusel blade, uh, even Chaos Knight, a decent chaser. I mean, you're just putting a lot of stock on that slaughter being able to get that initial. Uh, well, they got the scan that might give them the opportunity here. At the same time, it's nighttime, and GH knows he can see when Secret just creep towards that ward. So Liquid constructing a fairly safe push here, plopping down the Serpent Wards. And now Darkness Falls. Do they commit? Quit thinking about it. Secrets still want to hold this tower. They conga line through the trees. Yapsor in position for his Blink debut. Can he sneak up? Kuro would be an ideal target. The smoke actually, I believe, just got a little too close to mind control on Kuro across the tree line. Instantly, you see Liquid are confident to back away. They see no one farming elsewhere. PL still off in the jungle. BOT is coming next for mid one, so Secret won't find their opening. At the same time, they do hold the tower. How far Miracle? How far do you think he'll need to be to take over this game, yeah. especially against CK PL? I mean, he has an Oracle behind him, right? And they do have, like, the Lycan Owl as well, so I think they have some ways to help him tank up. So do you feel it's more about how the rest of his team play rather than, you know, how far he gets? I think it's more about the Oracle. Right. But yeah, I mean, I, they have a lot of damage, right? They have amp damage right against Alchemist, who has relatively They're running a mid one up top here. Armor, but here comes the chase on the mid one. They want to kill up this PL. And, and they will they get will. it. Huge pick off, no punish as Kezu just walks into the Necro army. Yapsor even trying to get his blink off, but constantly the minions are a problem. He's got to crush him back away. Alchemist is joining the fight. though, still get the jump onto GH, but Tumba Man wants to take this fight. Not into that Maledict. That's not Miracles gonna coming in with their one stun. They're going to go on. Nice dodger by MP. They're going to try to walk it off. Miracle is chasing. He doesn't have his ultimate. They can turn on him right now. Oh, good snare by Kuro, but now the Death Ward coming through. Kuro's down and Liquid have to retreat. The stun lob down. God, if they hit the PL, Secret would be diving so hard right now, but they just don't have the pursuit. A Tumble Man still standing in a very forward position. Kuro is out of the fight. They get picked off very fast. That's where you. That's the state of the game where you look like, you know, we just want to have more stuns, you know? How do you chase in a situation like that? Just patiently, you know, I, I think you could be content with the PL kill. Yeah. You don't have to go for more at that point. And I, I think they shouldn't have. As soon as they miss their stun, we're going to watch that one more time. They do go for uh, the Night Stalker to start things off. And then you see the Alchemist coming down from the river. The stun will miss. And right at that point, I that, think it that was, was time to back off. Yeah. By MP. So Rowdy Rift does have a bit of like a, a cast animation compared to, say, a Manta. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, the Alchemist stun isn't, you know, the fastest traveling projectile, so... 
Well, Yule's now complete. So while we, you, you might want to see a blink from Kazoo, this could be a tool to keep that Oracle out of the fight as long as possible while they try and focus Miracle down. See how it pans out for Secret. Still, though, feels like overall they're kind of playing Liquid's game, right? It's a good out game. There's some big Aghanim's upgrades here. The Venomancer Ag's upgrade is great. The Night Stalker one, fantastic. And do you, do you want to play that game right now on the main stage? Who do you want to give the out Ag's to first out of his allies? Hmm. My vote is on the Night Stalker. But... I definitely think you need a plus armor item. Like, you're not going to rush an Ag. Oh, no, no. He, no way. Like, I'm, I'm talking about once he's comfortable with his item slot and he's... Feeling rich, start to do all some hacks. Yeah, I think so. I think Night Stalker is probably the ideal one. Just because against Batrider, the vision is so important. You cannot sure. let him get the jump. Secret are smoked up, though. They haven't been particularly successful in these smokes, but they're going to try it again. Scouting out Matumba Man, but look at the position of Kuro Lumi. Tucked in the trees, up above his core. Liquid are definitely anticipating Secret's movements well now. And they haven't been able to find that big fight. You know, the way their lineup works, they want to just catch a hero out and then keep on chasing everyone down with defusal charges, reality rips, the bat rider pursuit. But in fact, the charge going the other way. Mid one is being forced back. They, they got the armlet, they got the defusal, they got the drum zules and the blink on the slaughter, and they're just not fighting. Yeah. They're definitely respecting the fact that there is quite a bit of vision on the side of Team Liquid. Is there a way to deal with that for Secret? Like any, Honestly, anything they can do no. to get vision back. I mean, you could put down wards, but as soon as Night Stalker pressed darkness, you know, a lot of your, your vision is just gone. Mind Control could put, plop down his own wards as well, too, like that, just give him a little bit of extra sight outside of the Roshan pit. They know Roshan is going on, but it's hard to initiate it. And this is a spot where you wish Batrider has a lasso, Blink lasso, rather. Well, they're trying to bring in the whole gang, but by the time they get to the pit, it's already too late. Instead, they're going to go in mid, locking down GH, and in a flurry of attacks, he should die. No curls there with the save, but Three hero front from Yapsor! A godly play by him. Still GH. Stays alive for a while, almost killing off Puppy, and now the chase is on. Liquid an opening with that Venomancer all committed. MP dropping low. Do they drive forward? Mid one, kiting them from the side. However, he could get stunned here by the out. The crush comes through, looking for the save. And now, isolating Miracle, but he's just gonna Manta and retreat. Still is the Aegis as well. Secret have to gang up here and try to rely on that Puppy heal to get them back towards safety. They do get the mid one kill in the end. They hang on, at least for now, to the Aegis. Yeah, great, great trade here, if you ask me for Team Liquid. Got the enemy core, you lost two supports, whatever. Miracle didn't die, he they has Aegis. They wanna go back in. Secret are thinking about it. They don't have the lasso. Who do they jump on first? In the back lines, it's mind control. Without the poison Nova, he should be an easy kill, but Miracle's there to the rescue. Bails his buddy out, keeps him alive, and forces Secret on their heels. Do so they have a stun? The void's cooling down. Oh, almost got it. GH. Mid cast animation. So two cores now down for Secret. Another kill given to Liquid for free, basically, and they're going to lose buildings from it. If you fight into an Alchemist, you better be damn sure that you have enough to take him down or take his team down. And Team Secret had neither. Miracle, as soon as he pops out ultimate, they are able to take down the tier two and just start to farm off the enemy jungle. I think Liquid has stabilized. I think they might have been able to recover from this game two situation. I mean, they're up 7k, and that might seem like a lot, but let me remind you of game two of you know the Liquid's last series where there wasn't an enemy Alchemist on the other side. They were up like 10, 15k, and Liquid eventually came back, but I think they have stabilized. Oh, they find Kezu now with the Void coming through. He goes for the Yules, but quickly getting purged off. Down he goes. Kuro on point. And Secret on the run, continually being picked off. The Wolves are scouting. Matumbo Man knows there's additional heroes lurking here. He sounds the cry to the chase BOTs. forward. The BOT plays for Miracle, locking onto MP. Looking to finish off the Chaos Knight. Liquid are going to get another. All of a sudden, 12 to 12, but that does not tell the story of this game. No, it does not. The rating career at least sniped something for mid one, a small consolation prize, but the real victory is all liquids right now as they continue to scratch and claw, try to force that game three. They're definitely well back into this one. It's just crazy to think how it started. Puppy was walking around freely as a witch doctor, racking up kills. You had a dual lane Venno. Lycan that was still almost losing, it felt like, to a Batrider. I mean, I but think, things have changed. I think one of the key points to, to point out, 
given how the game state is going, is that, yes, Team Secret was ahead from the language stage, but they didn't really have heroes that could get further ahead. Like, sure, you did well in the lanes, but you weren't pushing towers, right? They don't have, like, an anti-mage with the Battle Fury, an Alchemist with a Radiance, uh, and they didn't have, you know, they didn't have the Bleak on the Batrider to even set up those kills, so they gave Liquid a little breathing room, and... I'm thinking more heroes like Pugna, right? Like, if you get well in the laning stage, you start blasting towers, you start constricting what Liquid could do, what where they could farm. Sure. But they couldn't. I mean, eventually, sure, you have illusion heroes. Eventually, you can push tower. But that's eventually. That will take too long. And it did take too long. Liquid has had more than enough time. Unless Miracle makes some sort of big misplay, I think if he plays safe, this could be Liquid's game. All does hang in the balance. Their TI yeah, lives very much on the line. They leave him mid for now, but the BOTs can bring him to join the team. Yeah, Liquid. Commence their push, a little chip damage on bottom, taking a couple hundred points of health away from that tower. Still the tier one remains top, something that Secret would sure love to eradicate. But they're gonna lose a tier two. Also, when I say Miracle needs to, you know, play good, same thing with Kuro, right? I'm kind of counting them as a, a joint unit at this point. False promise for your Alchemist, that's the combo. Here we go, high ground siege. Cast comes a bouncing, Puppy trying to slow this down, but Miracle is undaunted up front. At least for now, the Necro Book gets forced away, but already this tower has taken a heavy punishment. 900 health bond, still the tier one health holds top, and now they chase after mid one. Matumba Man sicking his minions on the PL, gonna force him back, because meanwhile these out delusions, quite an infestation on the secret side of the map, and they look perhaps a little more. Alk stun lobbed out. Very composed push. I think a lot of teams would have seen, hey, we're up on the high ground, we got the Lycan O, we got the Wolves, we got the Summon, let's just take the tier 3, but Team Liquid recognizing that the enemy shrine is still up, they they could be very liable to get backstabbed. Last time it was the Absol getting a, what, a three-man slithering crush? That could just, you know, end their lead, so playing it very safe. Mergo does get the Corrosive Haze on him, but he could easily dispel that with a Mantis out. He'll probably do so soon. So Secret identifying that they need two BKBs here. Mid one is going for one simultaneously. Uh, we do see MP has just completed his, just got the gold now. So they're going to go for another timing with the BKBs. Look to really take the fight to Liquid. Do you think they'll be able to fight into Liquid with these, or are they still lacking? To me, it, it isn't about the BKBs. Don't get me wrong, the BKB is going to be nice. Like, it's going to prevent the stuns from coming out. It's going to make heroes like Nice Stalker, as well as Venomancer, somewhat ineffective. But to me, the ultimate thing is, are you finding Kuro? Can you kill him before he lets off his spells? Because once you kill him, then you have, you know, real methods to control Alphabus. But they don't have the vision, right? Like, you've got on the side of Liquid, you have a Night Stalker and the Wolves constantly scouting, giving you information. Like, Where's the vision for Secret? It's maybe an Amplify Damage or Corrosive Haze here or there. An Illusion scouting in the in the woods. Like, yeah. They just, they don't have a great vision. I mean, here. they have Batrider, it'll help a little bit. But I think this is where Shadowblade helps, uh, you know, from heroes like Slaughter or even the Bat. Um, no Tell has been a big fan of getting Blink Dagger on the Chaos Knight, where you could, you know, use for just your hero and also kind of pull your illusions into the fight if you want. Maybe that's something MP will consider, but it looks like he's gonna just bulk up. He's gonna go for the AC. Well, he's bulking up. Miracle is already swole. Banging away at this tier 2 top. Chiba's guard complete. Octarine on the way. Alk at 22k net worth. All the problems he had early, they feel long gone. Liquid are now about to siege. Grouping up top. Shoving that lane in. Roche could be up soon, so they don't want to do it just yet. And Matumba Man's going to sprint to bottom. Or at least thinks about it. Six the Necro Bolt inside this dire base, all the way to the tier. It's gonna tower. hit tier three. Yeah. For now, at least there was a moment of back door, but that is gone. And now tower nearly down. If they kill this off, the shrine's gonna be one more hit. One more hit. He does it. Oh, that is huge. Yeah. Shrine's been opened up instantly. Gh is onto it. But they might get backstabbed. Here but comes Team Secret. Secret could have found their opening here. The crush to start, and they catch up. Of all heroes, they catch up Kuro. That's really bad for Liquid. They need to retreat. Get out quickly. GH. Oh, looking for the corrosive haze there, but he somehow manages to link it one away. second. Flame break coming through is going to connect. He makes it back to safety. If it's only Kuro, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, the lanes are way too pushed. Look at mind control's position. You know, he's like, hey, I see Kuro getting jump. I'm going to just push top. Now you have to respond to that. As you're responding to that, our other lanes are going to get pushed out. Team Secret says this is our small opening to 
get the mid wave push in and maybe look for a little bit more. Gapsor still hunting, diving after the Night Stalker at nighttime. That is a tall order. Meanwhile, you see Mind Control infesting this top lane, just constantly shoving it in, trying to draw some heroes back, at which point his team can go and try to deal with some trines. So the BKBs are complete now. When do Secret get their next fight? They're not itemizing to play greedy. They're not trying to really itemize to just farm their way back into this. That's never the ideal scenario against an Alex to try and play his game, but continue to slip behind the longer that clock runs. And now MP getting caught out here. Silenced up. Alex stun coming through. It's not the longest duration. The Shiva's connected as well, but he gets back to safety. Now it's Puppy who's caught out. Do they turn? Do they fight? When will Secret make their stand? It's not now. Puppy's down. MP! Hesitates, blows the BKB, still goes down, and it's off to the races. The Tumba Man charging in. They can descend on this tower, and a flurry of auto attacks look to bring it down. They force mid one on his heels. Liquid turned back for objectives now. Focus, eyes on the prize. Single minded. They just want these towers. They want the racks. They don't care about Secrets Heroes. It's an even game in kills, but that's not Dota. Dota is a game of buildings, and that's exactly what Liquid are taking down. Melee racks have fallen. They want more. Looking for the range. They still stick around. They're not even hesitating for the time being. The range will drop, and still no sign of answer. They could maybe get Matumba Man on the way out, but I think they're happy to sacrifice it. No, they're going to leave it. In. Lasso still available, but Kuro just sits back waiting with the false promise. He's going to get Yules, and now the Lasso comes through, but Kuro purchases it off anyway. But Tumba Man going to be able to walk away freely. Maybe GH doesn't even go down here. Secret are committing their BKBs, potentially their lives, to this hold, and it seems like they're losing. They even shrine up, but the Ox Stun comes through. Miracle on the Onslaught here, charging forward, forcing Secret back. Mid one wants to fight. Still, BKBs have been expended. Is this really their time? But Tumba Man's at full HP right now. The Lance comes through. I think Liquid are content to back uh -huh. away, but they need that shape shift. They're still trying to kill him. Finally, they'll get that kill, but doesn't really feel like it matters. Buildings have fallen. Heroes have died. Long duration BKBs expended. Roche is about to respawn. I don't know that Secret are in position to contest it, Lumi. Yeah, I feel like Team Liquid gave away a little bit too much there. There was no reason to... If GH dies, you know, whatever. We're gonna watch the team fight one more time. I believe this is just gonna be the first half of the team fight where Team Liquid feels like they're strong enough and they're gonna just run at them. There is no response whatsoever from Team Liquid. Sorry, Team Secret. Team Secret play much better when they're the one that's initiating with the Batrider, with the Slaughter. And that was just... Liquid flexing, they're going in. Not much what uh, of Secret... I mean, you can see the idea there for the Batrider of Kezu. Yules up the Oracle and then just go on somebody, but the range is long enough with the Aether Lens that Kuroki can still easily just purge that lasso off. Had they done that like maybe 10 minutes earlier, that would have been a good plan, but sure, you Yules up the Oracle, but you're not killing people fast enough before that, he comes down. That is down. the other thing. Yeah, like, what is your burst damage on the side of Team Secret? I guess the it's Chaos Knight. A, it's a reality room. Yeah, that's which, basically it. You know, he, he was struggling to get into the right position on Team Fight as well. So Liquid get one, now they want the Roche. Bottom lane, remember, is exposed. Mid lane, still the tier 3 stands. It's gonna be a tough siege for Secret to stop here, Lumi. Especially if an Aegis Cheese is part of it. But really, how does Secret get near the pit? You gotta worry about these lanes pushing in. There's a Night Stalker running around with the gem. Flying out momentarily. They already seem to have trouble, initiating trouble with Vision. Troubles will continue to increase. Yeah, they even kill, uh, feel confident enough to not give Miracle the Ages. They put it on the Tumba Man. This is a, generally a bad sign for the other team. Now there is two Hyper Cores that you have to deal with. There's still Kuroki with his False Promise on the back line that you have to kill before. And Kuro's got a uh, Aether Lens, so he can stay even further away in a better position. This might be checkmate for Team Secret. It feels like it's already checkmate. They're gonna try though. Secret moving out. They do have their BKBs double damage and bottled up by mid one. This could be big. Darkness ends. Darkness ends, and maybe the opening comes. Links away! Yapsor though, crushing onto the Oracle. That's probably the ideal target. Now the lasso comes through on him. Mid one can commit. They drag him up. Roast him in the flames, and Matumba Man gets aggressive. He fights into this. Miracle joins the fray. They're gonna back up their friend here. Still that Oracle is alive through it all. Oh, Kuro survives. 
Secret are not getting kills with these BKBs. Finally, the Oracle will drop. The Lycan like also brought down, but round two is much more painful. Miracle still full HP. Fighting forward is the Lycan. Liquid win the fight. Three fall, they push in. Well, they got the initiation they were looking for. Unfortunately, they didn't get the kill quickly enough. And meanwhile, with oh Liquid. Oh boy. Miracle. The cojones on this one. Here comes the rapier. That is going to be huge for taking down these structures, but it's the kills that Miracle seems to want. He's diving from me. He's diving with the rapier. What's he doing? He has no fear. Kessler just <laughs> runs away. I think they're ahead enough, or even if he had lost the rapier, it would have been fine. So this is more like, hey, we're, we're winning this game so hard. I'm not even worried about giving a rapier away. We're gonna finish the game right now. Yeah, uh, out comes the Gel. Miracle finally using that rapier for its proper purpose, which is to bring down buildings. They crush him. They can't control him though. Liquid, Mega Creeps away. Game three awaits. Secret cannot close them out. Call a GG. What a shaky start, Lumi. That looked real dicey. Talk about composure. You're down 0-1. You're on the verge of elimination. Your lanes really go awry.